God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. At many times, and in various ways. But in these last days, He has spoken to us in His Son, whom He appointed the heir of all things. Through whom also He created the world. The sun is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact expression of His nature. He upholds all things by the word of His power. After providing purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the Majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name He has inherited is more excellent than theirs. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your adversaries. silence the enemy and the Avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you care for him. You have made him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. sheep and cattle, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. Majestic is your name in all the earth. But presently, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him. Thank <laughs> you.
see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels. Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in the same things, so that by his death he might destroy the one who has the power of death. That is, the devil. And deliver those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. Although he was in the form of God, he did not consider equality with God something to cling to, but made himself nothing by taking the form of a servant. Being born in the likeness of men, found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every name. So at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth.